Hello besties, how are you guys doing? It's your baby girl again, Boss Baby Talk. As you already know, for my returning subscriber, I want to say thank you for always coming back to watch my video. And if you're new here, you're welcome to this wonderful family. What I do on this platform, I create content surrounding my lifestyle, living here in Canada as an immigrant with my family. I talk about how to migrate to Canada, Canada job opportunity, schooling, and how you can get your first accommodation when you finally arrive in Canada. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about international skilled workers, casket one, occupation in demand. Without further ado, let's get right into today's video. But before we go, have you subscribed if you haven't? Please go ahead and subscribe, turn on that bell notification for me so that you don't miss any of my important videos like this and also you want to give the video a thumbs up so that it can be better suggest for the people that are looking for this kind of content. I love you and you already know that. Let's begin. This route, guys, I'm so happy to come and share this good news, you know, with you guys. It's actually one of the, you know, most easiest one I've come across, like, and that is why I've come to share it with you guys. And um, this route again, <laughs> if your job is in demand, you do not need a job offer letter from any employer. All you need to do, uh, if you see me looking down, is because I've, you know, jot something down here for you on my to-do list, and I have to go through that before we get into today's video. You only need to apply through the expression of interest, which is the EOI portal, and I'm also going to be taking you through that as well. I'll be showing you uh, that in the video. If you're qualified, they will send you an invite to apply for your permanent residence. This is really nice. Like when I was going through this, I'm like, oh, like that easy, like that good. This is so easy. Like if you come in this country, you do not need to come and struggle, you know, to get your uh, papers ready and all that again. Like you will be getting it from back home. Yes, you will be getting visa to come in because you're gonna get an automatic visa to come in and once you get in and you go to Saskatoon within 90 days which is three months you should be getting your permanent residence yeah it's really really good and I really like it because again you don't need to be in the express entry pool on this route there's no age limit and you can also come with your family so you can see how you know good this is the noc code that are qualified for this in-demand job i will also be showing you that the noc code is tier 0123 like when i say tier i'm like okay we're doing tier now in canada now too because i know london you know came out with that like two years ago and a lot of people have been going in through that route you know to uk as well now it's canada turn canada now have tier zero one two three noc code so we're gonna be going on that as well and the occupation that you're gonna be coming across uh part of them is uh, management position healthcare assistant engineering you know and many more like that i'm gonna be showing you in the video we will also be talking about the eligibility criteria i will also be showing you how to apply and the documents you need to apply as well let's get in this subcategory is for skilled worker who don't have a job offer is Saskatchewan but are highly skilled in in-demand occupation intend to reside in Saskatchewan as a permanent residence note all nominees with temporary work permit must reside in Saskatchewan guys please be noting this like you need to be in Saskatchewan. You don't even want to get the permanent residence and again, you end up losing it. So you actually really, really need to be in Saskatchewan. Meet the criteria. Criteria can change at any time, but we will use what was on this website when you got your application. So they will be using, you know, whatever is on this website for you you know when you get the application in case they have changed their criteria you know they have made changes to their website the, you know they will be using whatever was on there before you apply now let's look at the eligibility but before that i'm just gonna read again something out for you to be eligible as well you know which i've jot down here for you you must have your ielts eca POF as well. Once you have all of this, 
you will then need to apply for expression of interest to be eligible you must pay a non-refundable $350 which is Canadian dollar application fees online by Visa or MasterCard it is the last step in order to submit your application and you may be qualified if you live outside of Canada or if you have legal status in Canada as well maybe you are already a student in Canada and you don't know your fate yet you can apply you know through this as well and you must not be a refugee claimant score a min minimum of 60 points out of 110 on the CINP uh, point of assessment group so you can be shaken on that as well have a language score of at least four benchmark of score that is Canadian language benchmark you must have at least you know benchmark of four you know in your eyes is really 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 important work experience as well does count as well and also your work experience must be related to your occupation and education that is really important as well make sure you are reading them through this is the eligibility that you need to apply for this program expression of interest you know it's not you know the main application expression of interest is basically to show them you have an interest you know in this program on this route once you apply for the expression of interest you will get to be in the pool and you will get to be picked in the pool when they are doing the draw just like you're in the express entry pool but this one now you do not need to be in the express entry pool you will be in the pool stay there and again is based on the information that you have provided for them about your IELTS about your ECA and our POF and also your experience as well you are most likely to get picked on this route so besties I'm wishing you the best of luck on this very one once you get picked they will definitely send you an invitation letter and a link to apply for the SINP which is the Saskatchewan Immigration Nominee Program and they will send you the link also to be able to apply the red for your permanent residency so I feel like this is really 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 good you know and it's less trouble less you know not too much documents is involved on this one you know part of why I really really like it it's kind of a smooth sale you know it's really good actually and that's why also I'm talking about it so guys if you haven't seen this video anywhere else I want you to quickly up on it like I said I wish you the best of luck on it let's go to the next one if your occupation is on this program this is how to find out so you come on this page I will also be putting the link for you in the description below please be sure to check that out so on this one I have to check if your occupation is actually on this in-demand job that they are looking for for example let's just say a teacher you remember we are looking for you know your occupation have to be under the NOC code of tier 0 1 to 3 so we need to be looking on you know on that let's say you're a teacher let's look for teacher is your occupation on it okay yes your occupation is on in demand as a teacher if you are a teacher you know go already and apply just type it in the search bar and just click on search okay whatever your occupation is so that you can find out and again you need to have experience actually they want people that have experience in that part you need to have experience as a teacher you need to have worked for certain years you know you need to have worked for at least minimum of one year so you need so that experience is very important because they might ask you to send reference to them but if i were you if you have it handy i'm gonna be sending everything in so if you have it handy send it in before they ask you because once they ask you to send something and you are also sending that that takes almost another days another business days 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 for them to look at it for you to go look for it for you to go get it so it's always good to get you know to have it handy 
so that you can just submit it to them already so before they ask you NRC code is definitely here if you see one if you see two if you see zero and again let's just uh add another one as a nurse it's also on in the man you can see zero you know you can see three one two you know whatever your career is just put it in the search bar and click search on it so your job is on in demand in Saskatchewan because that's where they want you to go once you see that your occupation is on in demand all you need to go and show right there if you have interest you need to go and show your expression of interest just click on here and you go to international skilled worker system which is the EOI just click on there and that will take you to where you have to apply and you create that you're already in the process then you will just need to log in but if this is the first time you're seeing that video all you need to do is to create account first because when you create an account you, you can be able to check the status of your application at any time that is why it's always advisable to create an account before you know you start sending any information to the government here in Canada and all that because once you have an account anything they do on your profile they will be updating and you'll be able to also be seeing it as well so this is really good and this is where i'm gonna be ending the video today if you haven't subscribed guys please go ahead and subscribe turn on the bell notification so that you don't miss any of my important video like this and always you want to click the like button so that it can be better suggest for the family and friend and also to the people that are looking for this kind of content i remain your girl boss baby talk as you already know you know i love you and i got you anytime i wish you the best of luck on this goodbye for now